yesterday, I hit a wall. I'm sure the same thing happens to you some days where you're just overwhelmed, whatever your normal routines are, just aren't working, could be for any number of reasons. Now for me, this is because right now, as I'm recording this, we're in the midst of uh, week one of a crazy coronavirus, you know, national, no, global pandemic, and businesses shutting down, including Cowork Columbia, our uh, co-working space, and uh, schools being out for a month. So we've got little kids at home and nothing's working. So, but, this is an extreme example. The reality is it happens all the time where something goes wrong. Something goes wrong in your normal routines, your normal uh, systems or habits aren't working. And so for me, normally, I use the Full Focus Planner, Michael Hyatt's planner for uh, planning productivity, and I have a big three every day, which is like you're the three most important tasks that if I get nothing else done, that I will feel a sense of accomplishment and know that I've made progress. Well, don't tell Michael, but I threw his planner out the window today. Of course, I didn't literally throw his planner out the window. <laughs> but uh, what I did do is I just put it, I put it aside. I didn't even open it today. And I use this every day. I've used it for years because I realized yesterday what my, what's working now, well, what, 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 <laughs> what, what normally works is not working. So today I did something completely different. Today I just asked myself, what's the next right thing? And so I wanna encourage you, if when you get overwhelmed, when you get stuck to do the same thing, to ask what is the next right thing? And then to do that, what is the next right thing? And then do that. And then once you've done that, do the next right thing after that. I mean, and just that clarity gave me the focus today, and I hope it gives you the same in your moments of overwhelm, the opportunity to focus on one thing at a time to get it done, to feel a sense of progress, and really just focus on the most urgent. I mean, this is not something that works every day because you need to have way more intentional, but in times of overwhelm, in times of uh, everything being overdue, this is helpful in my experience. So, for example, this morning that meant that one of the first things I did was I actually, uh, you know, canceled my tasks that I had planned, and I uh, popped onto a free training that Michael Hyatt did um, li live publicly on how to lead through crisis. And so that was what I needed in terms of to lead and to encourage, oh, hello. <laughs> and to lead and to encourage myself, but also my team, uh, I needed that. And then the next right thing to do after that was to reach out to the marketing team and see if I could take a promotion off their plate that was, I knew was overwhelming them. And so really just to check in, see what they needed, and then just take it over. And then get that done, close the door, and then the, the next right thing to do right now is to go play with my kids. It's to go take them outdoors and help them get some sunshine as much as we can with the clouds and uh, give my wife uh, a break back home where the baby's sleeping and she can, uh, right now she's gardening and playing in the dirt. So that's what the next right thing looks like for me right now. After this, I don't know, I'll see. Probably get the, you know, help the kids eat dinner, but that's not the point. Whether it's professional or personal, just asking what is the next right thing is a question that you can ask yourself in moments of overwhelm to focus. It worked for me today. I hope it works for you on days where you're feeling overwhelmed. Uh, it's not an original idea by any means, but it's useful. So, well, good luck. Keep up the good work. Focus. You still gonna crash into the wall? No. I can't keep going on the sidewalk. You got tired? I got back to speed. Too tired to crash? Let's go back to the speed. That's okay. Let's go back to my speed machine.